Yeah. It's the golden rule of terrorists. Don't bomb your fans. It's why you'll never see an IED at Columbia, the Oscars, or the UN. Yeah, the UN, where one of their most outspoken America haters blamed the Boston bombings on American domination. Richard Falk, i.e. Scumbucket, in a foreign policy rag, claimed the bombings are justifiable retribution for our geopolitical fantasy of global domination. I'm thinking he learned that phrase at one of our finer colleges, Bob. And you know he's not the only UN jackal who feels this way. Fox in the Human Rights Council, that heinous clown car that sits in judgment of the freest, greatest country ever. Which is why asking how a 9-11 truther like Fox still works there is like asking why maggots eat corpses. They both feed off the dead. But instead of mocking those who root for our demise, our president had the U.S. join this council in 2009. So maybe they'd like us. When will our president learn that the more you bow, the more they bomb? But Falk doesn't represent most busy U.N. diplomats who spend hours each day working those phones hard, you know, ordering in food, booze, and some of the best hookers on earth. <laughs> World peace means something very different to these guys who meet each other in hallways and restaurants to BS, never doing anything but ridiculing America while all desperately pleading to their home country to let them stay just one more year. I'm thinking in these budget tightening times, a good place to save on security would be at the UN. I wonder how fast they would miss America's presence when retribution is right at your doorstep. Mm. My, my, that was my. Bob, aggressive. Yes. This guy, retired yes. Princeton professor. Yep. Just yeah. another one to add to the yeah. list. It's, it's the whole universe. It's just it's every professor. They're all commies. And they're, you know, I mean, I, we, let, never we, said we that. settled it, okay? Uh, first of all, let me just say this guy does not work for the UN. He works True. for the Human Rights Commission. Uh, and it is uh, based in Geneva. Funded by the UN. Uh, no. Wrong. Partially it does get money. Yeah, yeah, it does get some money. That's right. But I think that way, way we introduce these things is a UN official. Uh, this guy's a, a joke. I mean, uh, does anybody take, really take him seriously? I, well, I, apparently they do because he's still there, Bob. That's well, the but point. But that's because he's Why tenured. Is he? <laughs> he's tenured. See, I'm glad you agree with me, Andre. The irony is. He works for the Human Rights Council. <laughs> These guys are the most tolerant of brutality you can find. Selectively tolerant yeah. of brutality. They, they actually take it when Christians are being uh, oppressed. But when I read this, the first thing I thought was, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. um, so uh -oh. Watch Falk, that, man. Wait, get, I'm not getting anywhere near hold that. Hold on. Falk went on to say, he said that, um, this ca that we caused the bombings because of American domination, right? Mm -hmm. American domination of what, yeah. Greg? We've been fighters, but we've never been conquerors. Look at us. Okay, we fought in Europe, mm. but we rebuilt Europe. Uh, we left Europe, mm -hmm. and then we traded with Europe. We did the same in Japan when we didn't have to do that. Um, and now they're a competitor. Some people think we shouldn't have. We've never been a global dominator, period, end of story. And by the way, wherever uh -huh. we go, we make things just more awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hello. Man, come on. Eric, let me ask you this. If the suspects were neo-Nazi skinheads, <laughs> do you think he would have reacted the same way? Uh, no, because this guy's an anti-Semite. He's, yeah, he's yeah. a hist long history of That's this. That's right. Uh, yeah, th so, therefore, but yeah. listen to what he said. Here's Remember the most that? alarming <laughs> thing he said. How many poor little canaries, uh, a.k.a. the eight-year-old who, who blew up, uh, have to die before we awaken from our... Uh, our geopolitical fantasy of global domination. That's ridiculous. This is something he said. So this guy is now, I think he's still attached to Princeton University, if I'm not mistaken, right? He's an Somewhat like. Professor. Kathy, yeah. Kathy, yeah, Kathy yeah, Bodine. Of those universities. Uh, Kathy Bodine, the, uh, she's at Columbia. Yeah. Bill Ayers at, Bill at Ayers. University of Chicago. Bernadine Dorn yeah. at Northwestern Law. The track record of liberal, liberal academia is atrocious. It's, Where are the conservative professors, Bob? I, I, that you geez, keep I don't know. Everybody's I mean, on the left. I got an, I'm still waiting for one idea. of them How on the right. Wait, I'm waiting for teach. one of them on the right to come out and say that it's America's fault for the bombing in Boston. None of them have. You know what? It's liberal. It's theirs. They own it, and it's wrong. Eric, we're I, only a week you, out, you so think, there is time. Do you time. think There's for time. a minute that liberals... All liberals agree with this guy? I didn't say all, but all of them that have said something like that happen to have been liberal. Oh, I see. See? Yeah, well, I, when Timothy McVeigh was attacking the United oh, States, did you think that was... You guys done going back to Timothy McVeigh Oh, I see. Oh, I go back to Timothy McVeigh, and you go back 18 to... 18 years ago, Bob. 18 years ago. Wow. Come on. So I'm gonna get, I gotta get no, let's go back to this guy, Mr. Falk. Sorry. I want to get KG. So, look, the UN is one of the most anti-American agencies, organizations out there, and we, we do contribute... Heavily, yes, billions of dollars to give to money over to this individual who's one of the people who's a U.N. official. He's 
gets paid he's, he's, through them. But no, but where he works is partly funded by the U.N. Correct. Sorry, there are tentacles there, We're, and they should be exposed. We have to keep the U.N. officials. And everybody's not afraid to accept. Hold on. <laughs> no one's afraid to accept the U.S. money, especially in their time of need. How many countries mm -hmm. do we? We're the first country to jump in for humanitarian efforts, etc. But yet everybody tries to despise us. You know, that, that's the problem. And I think we've been too weak, especially as of late. And, Go oh, I'm sorry. No, and there's, there's still no U.N. definition for terrorism. And, in fact, when the brothers were planning their bombings, a mm -hmm. bunch of Muslim countries jumped up and said, um, by the way, there should be a justified excuse for terrorism, even though there's no definition yeah. for one. But, there, you, like you a self-defense. No, they called it yeah. legitimate there's struggle. A way to take care if the they're deficit. legitimately struggling, like, then it's a, okay. There's a way to take like care of the deficit. Right. They all paid their parking ticket. Right, yeah. exactly. And we would have not a big deficit problem. I will say, with, uh, go ahead. $50 billion we've given right. the U.N. since 2001. And that they do fund the, the, this Human Rights Council, and this guy and, does get and, money, right. does get money and from food that council. For, for poor children in the world, and a lot but, of and things. also, I mean, let's face it, we cannot forget they do fund New York's prostitutes. Uh, we can't forget how well the UN has kept them going. You know, when I was there at the Law of the Sea conference, I never saw any hookers. I'm but, surprised. Oh, they are. Well, they're they're Let's, in the UN. All right, coming not. up, President Obama.